Hey everyone, welcome to Wishing Well Barbecue. I'm Dustin Wells, and today I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect picanha steak. Let's do it. Picanha. 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 Oh, okay, it's picanha, right? Yes, picanha. Picanha steak, also known as top sirloin cap, is such an amazing steak and it's so underrated. I never really see it here in Kentucky, but I got sent this two and a half pound USDA prime picanha from Porter and York. So a couple of things to note that there are so many different ways that you can cook picanha steak. One of them being that you can put it on a skewer and you can slice it like they do in the Brazilian restaurants. That's kind of a traditional way of doing it. You can also slice it into steaks, which is what we're gonna do today. And you can also just cook it whole. Hey, I'm ready to get this thing ready for the smoker, so let's do it. So this is it, my USDA prime picanha steak or top sirloin steak. And this looks really awesome. You can see that we have a fat cap on top here. And if I flip it over, we have a lot of marbling on this. To trim this up, I'm just gonna use my Spaceman boning knife and get some of this silver skin off of the backside here. You don't really need this silver skin. Porter and York already did a really awesome job trimming this up for us. Now on the backside, something to note is we do have this fat cap. If your fat cap is super thick, you may wanna trim that down a little bit. We have some fat missing right here, but hey, that's gonna be okay. This is a pretty good thickness that we have here, about a quarter to a half inch. That's gonna render down and hit our coals later and give us a really awesome product. Something really important to note is which direction the grain is running. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of different ways that we can cook this. We're gonna actually cut this down into steaks. So as we cut this into steaks, we wanna make sure that we go with the grain so that on our finished product, whenever we slice, we're slicing against the grain. If you are gonna skewer this up, you would want to cut against the grain. That way, when you shave it off with that knife, you would be cutting against the grain. Regardless of how you choose to cut this, you just wanna make sure that the end product is being sliced against the grain for ultimate tenderness. For our steak style, you can see that our grain is running this way, so we're just gonna cut with it. And I'm gonna cut these into about, I don't know, inch and a quarter steaks or so. Slice into this right here. Oh yeah, here we go. This is exactly what we're looking for. As you can see, we have that nice fat cap that's gonna drip down on those coals. Oh man, that's gonna make it so flavorful. Now that I've got them all trimmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and season them. The first thing I'm gonna do is rub them down in some Worcestershire sauce and get these nice and coated here. This is gonna be a binder as well as add a little bit of flavor for us. Then for this cook, we're gonna season with our Wishing Well Barbecue Texas Cowboy Rub. Now, if you were doing this traditional Brazilian style, you would really only use Use flaky salt but this has salt pepper garlic and a couple other things and we're gonna go pretty heavy with our seasoning flip it over and do the same thing to the other side oh yeah this is exactly what I'm going for now that I've got my picanha steaks all seasoned up I'm gonna go ahead and let them hang out right here on the cutting board so they can sweat in some of that seasoning while we get our pit fired up so let's do it Today, I'm going to be cooking on my Oklahoma Joe Bronco Drum Smoker. To get it going, I'm gonna fill my charcoal basket up with lump charcoal and get it fired up with my propane torch. Once I get the coals going, I'm gonna add three chunks of hickory and I'm gonna put the grill grate on the lowest setting on the smoker. All right, we've got our grill fired up here and it is sitting at about 370 degrees right here at great level. So we're ready to put our steaks on. This right here looks amazing. I am gonna take my Thermapro TP27 and I'm gonna get right here in the very center of the steak because I wanna cook this steak to a perfect medium rare. Now we do want to make sure that we're careful that we don't burn these. We do want to get a nice crust, but we definitely don't want it to burn. So we're going to check on it periodically and kind of flip it as we need to. Let's close it down and let it cook. I've actually got my drum smoker open so that way I can get a lot of oxygen to those coals and that way those flames will kind of shoot up and kiss the meat 
that's going to give it such an amazing flavor. Definitely starting to get some flare up on the grill. I'm going to go ahead and flip these so that I have some even cooking happening. Put this one right here. You could totally do this on like a regular charcoal grill. I just wanted to use my Oklahoma Joe Bronco for this. I haven't honestly done any super hot sears on it, so I really just wanted to see how it would do. And so far, it's doing a really awesome job. I can tell you that that fat right there is starting to render because it's dripping down on those coals. Let's give these steaks a flip and see how we're doing. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some caramelization on there. All right, we're sitting right at about 125 degrees and that's exactly what I want. So let's get these off of the smoker. Man, oh man, I tell you what, these picanha steaks look and smell absolutely delicious. I can tell you that the Oklahoma Joe Bronco has definitely done its job today. Well, you know what time it is. I've got to slice into this and take a bite. But before I do, let's talk about what we did to get here. I got these two and a half pound prime picanhas from Porter and York. And I didn't have to do much trimming. I just took off some of that extra silver skin and made sure that the fat cap wasn't too thick. For today's cook, I wanted to make them into individual steaks, so I sliced them with the grain about an inch and a half thick. To season them, I rubbed them down in some Worcestershire sauce as a binder and then added my Wishing Well Barbecue Texas Cowboy Rub. We put them on the Oklahoma Joe Bronco without the deflector plate, that way we could get a nice char. And we also put the grate down on the lowest setting so it could be right over the coals. We grilled these steaks off until they reached an internal temperature of 125 degrees. We brought them over here to the cutting board to let them rest, and now here we are. And you know what time it is. Let's slice into it and see how we did. This right here looks so good. Look at all the juice that we have. I mean, we have so much juice, and this is from those picanhas resting. They have a lot of moisture inside. Let's go ahead and take a couple of slices. Now, remember, this is against the grain, which is exactly what we want. I'm not going to cut them too thick. Oh, look at that. Perfect medium rare and so tender. Look at that, just pulls right apart. Whew, that is it, I cannot wait any longer. You know I gotta take a bite of this. Hey, cheers to you, cheers to a good cook. Let's take a bite. I'm not gonna lie to you, that is probably one of the most tender steaks that I've ever had. And the flavor is so good. Look how tender this is for real. I mean, it just pulls apart. This honestly gives ribeye a run for its money, I'm telling you. Mop up some of those juices, that's where the flavor is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you like what we're doing here on the Wishing Well Barbecue channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you also follow all of our other socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you so much again for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.